in our very first season in charge of Sunderland EFC, we managed to win League One. 102 points after 44 games is nothing to sneeze at, and I was very happy with how the boys performed. Then, in our championship season, we faced the likes of Newcastle United, we faced the likes of Sheffield United and West Ham, and we managed to win the league 109 points after 46 games. One downside, we got beat both times by Newcastle, which didn't exactly curry me too many favours with the fans. And in our first season in the Premier League, we spent £47.5 million. The likes of Abdul Qadir Omar coming in from Tribes on Sport, Neo and Perez, Absolutely fantastic players being able to bring them 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 level of players in is absolutely unbelievable. Rasmus and Christensen at right back, uh, Josh Tymon at left back who got injured for eight months almost immediately for seven and a half million. Jack Butland for four and a half million, and one of the main men, Sergio Gomez on a free from Borussia Dortmund. So now that I'm beginning to live stream Seven Sunderland on Twitch, I thought I would maybe bring the video series of Seven Sunderland back to youtube so how it's going to work is i will still be live streaming these save on twitch but every time i stop i might do a quick video show you how we're getting on do a live game similar to how yo yo man works and then we'll go from there so if you are interested in watching me live the link to my twitch channel will be down below the vods will all be there as well if you want to watch every single game but if you're just interested in keeping up to date with the series this will be the video for you so following on from the last stream we did on youtube we got absolutely battered 5-0 by Manchester United. Anthony Martial with a hat-trick, Marcus Rashford with one, Usman Dembele with the other. We then faced Carlisle United in the League Cup second round and won 4-0. Matthias Jakobsen, Philippe Marcinski and Batista Meyer with the goals in this one. Then a disappointing 2-0 home defeat back in league action against Bournemouth. Arturo Vidal, <laughs> of course he's playing for Bournemouth. And Thorgan Hazard with the goals for them. A game where we should we didn't deserve to get beat. We did bounce back though and absolutely crushed Watford 5-2. Nerwin Perez, Esposito with a brace, Abdul Kadir Omar and Olivia Batista Maia with the goals. We then went away from home against Leeds United and won 2 nil. Abdul Kadir Omar and Esposito in this one. A 2-0 win against Blackburn Rovers with a fully rotated side in the League Cup third round. Esposito and Felix Correa with the goals in this one. We then got battered 3-0 at home against Liverpool. Sadio Mane, Calvin Phillips and Virgil van Dijk with the goals for them. A game where we were never really competitive. Arsenal away from home next. We were down to 10 men from the 63rd minute after equalising uh, a João Mario own goal. Equalised things for us after Alexander Lacazette had put them in from 28 minutes in. And we somehow managed to hold out. We then went away from home against Everton and won 3 1. Felix Correa, Matthias Jakobsen and Sebastiano Esposito with the goals. 2 0 home win against Spurs, anybody? Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Sergio Gomez, Esposito, and look at the match stats. We fully deserved it. We then squeezed past Premier League opposition Brighton in the League Cup fourth round. Went to penalties, they missed two. We scored all of ours. We are through to the quarterfinals. And finally was a 1-0 home win against Chelsea. Abdul Qadir Omar with the goal in the 44th minute. And again, lads, if you want to see these games for yourself, they'll be on the Me Twitch VOD. So just go find them there on my channel. But that's how things went for today. We are currently sitting fourth in the Premier League, doing absolutely phenomenal stuff. The likes of Sergio Gomez's stuff has come in. And it's just been an absolute absolute star. Two goals and seven assists in 11 games is absolutely huge for us so far. And you look at the average ratings here. The likes of Matthias Jakobsen when he's getting game time is playing well. Esposito has got eight goals in 13 games. George Dobson's playing well. The entire of our side, entirety of our side is doing pretty well. Which takes us to today where we will face Watford in a live com away from home. They're currently sitting in third bottom place 18th that's right sam speak some words four days to go into that game so i will see you at kickoff so this is going to be our starting 11 for the game against wolves jack butlin and goal rasmus nissen christiansen our new right back for this season's been doing pretty well for us perez a new signing for us as well 13 million i think we paid from atletico madrid he is absolutely phenomenal benjamin clark now you probably don't know this guy uh, i believe he came in our very first youth intake and he's still got five-star potential, which leads me to believe he has very high potential. He's currently wanted by Manchester United. I am going to be playing him as much as possible this season to develop him as quickly as we possibly can and hope to he becomes a mainstay on our side for years to come. Minoz, a left-back we signed in a bit of a panic after Josh Tymon got injured for eight months. 
Uh, Dobson, we've already seen before. Um, he was our defensive midfielder in League One. He is still it now. Matthias Jakobsen's getting the start today. He's had a fantastic season so far. Bally Mumba hasn't quite hit the same heights he did in the Championship and League One, so he drops to the bench. Uh, Abdul Kadir Omar is an absolutely fantastic right midfielder who's slowly developing into the squad and he's getting better and better each game. Sergio Gomez, we've already spoken about, he's been absolutely phenomenal this season. Uh, Olivia B. Tiestermeyer, a bit quiet. Um, I'm hoping for something more from him. We do have an agreed fee of £3.5 million to sign him permanently if we do manage to get the money. And Esposito, of course, is on loan again from Inter Milan. Seven goals in 11 games so far in the Premier League is not too shabby. Now, we are away from home against Wolves. They are in the bottom three. They do have a very good side. They've been a Premier League side this entire time. So we are going to have to be at our best. If we are to get anything from this game, let's just wait and see how we get on. First highlight of the day comes four minutes in and I will be in 2D for the match highlights but we will be showing 3D replays for goals and things like that so don't worry your little head about it. Wolves close. Oh my god Jack Butland. Jesus Christ Jack Butland. What have you just done my friend? Oh my god. I cannot believe this is how you're going to start my video series on YouTube is it? Jack. Let's say that again. Perez plays the battle of Butland. It is a bit of a dodgy pass. But well, look at the state of that. What is all that about? I cannot believe it. <laughs> Raul Jimenez puts Wolves 1-0 up three minutes in. Another highlight now. Joe Moutinho with a free kick for Wolves and we give away a penalty. I know we don't. It's a corner. Thank God for that. I mean, I was absolutely flying on stream. I'm beating Chelsea, beating Spurs. 18 minutes in now. Esposito brings the ball down. I mean, that shot was not very good. Another highlight now. 10 minutes to go before half-time. Can we get ourselves back into this game? Munoz picks up the ball from Christiansen. Goes for goal. And Ehen Munoz, our left-back, gets his first goal of the season. And level things up. Nine minutes before half-time. That's exactly what we needed. We couldn't afford to go in 1-0 down, I don't think. Uh, Christiansen doing good work. Finding Munoz in the box. And it's a tidy little finish from the left-back. And brings us level. Sergio Gomez picks up the ball from Abdul Kadir Omar on the right hand side. We work it again to Christiansen. He bombs into the box, plays it in. It's clear by Wolves. That is dreadful defending by the midfield of Wolves. Batista Meyer picks it up, gets past Dendonka, plays it in Esposito, and Seb gets his ninth goal of the season and puts us 2 1 up. We need to keep our winning streak running as long as we possibly can. Batista Meyer, I believe that is his first assist of the season. Bearing in mind, this is the guy who got 20 odd assists in the championship last season. And Esposito is kindly slotting that one. Another highlight now. It's all happening thick and fast before the end of this first half. We give the ball away and Morgan Gibbs-White can bring it forward for uh, Wolves. He hasn't got much in the room of support. And George Dobson. Oh, George, don't do this to me. VAR, it's not a penalty. Free kick, thank God for that. Jeremy Moutinho plays it in. Dendonka goes close. Omar brings it away after a Wolves corner. Is this actually a highlight football manager or are you just lying to me? Plays it in. Esposito's there. Good save by Ruddy. Well, two goals in two minutes has well and truly brought us back into this game. I'm very happy with how things are going. Any any win away from home against any side in the Premier League is more than welcome and something that should be celebrated. Let's see how we get on for the second half. We have dropped ourselves off the attack and team mentality and back on a positive and does seem to have killed the game completely. We're 70 minutes in. We haven't had a single highlight in this second half. And with 15 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. Gomez can come off for, for, for Philippe Marchinski. Uh, Omar can come off for Felix Correa. And I think I'm going to bring on Ivan for Rasmus Nissen Christiansen at right back. Uh, just freshen things up a little bit. 10 minutes to go. Wolves have a free kick. Jao Moutinho plays it in. Jack Butland claims. Andrade switches the plate to Batista Maia. Andrade is Felix Correa, by the way. And Batista Maia is in the box. He goes for goal. Marchinski. My dears, I've never seen such a miss like it. And by I never, I mean, of course, I say it every single game on Football Manager. Felix Correa wins the ball in his own box. Seven minutes to go and he uh, drives forward. There's absolutely nobody stopping him and he goes for goal. Can't get his shot on target. Only three minutes to go in this match. Can we hang on and get a crucial three points? We give the ball away and Jesse Lingard can bring it down the right-hand side for Wolves. He gets past Benjamin Clark. Jack Butland's there, though. I mean, it was his mistakes, the reason why we're in this mess. Thankfully, it hasn't cost him, so I won't be too angry. Wolves won, Sunderland 2, a fantastic win, and a fantastic three points. So after that win, we do remain in fourth position in the Premier League. We're keeping tabs on, maybe not Liverpool, but the rest of the top teams 
in the division, which is absolutely fantastic. But again, lads, if you are interested in watching this live, I implore you to follow my Twitch channel with the link of which will be down below. I'll be live as often as I possibly can. And I've already done one successful stream and I didn't get disconnected. So hopefully any network.